The story of steroids in baseball is a complicated history, but make no mistake, the high velocity, the absolute moonshots, the speed, the contact, the fights, it changed how we consumed baseball. There was a desperate need to make the game more exciting, and this was the answer. Players openly used performance enhancing drugs, capped off with interviewers asking about what they were taking and why. It was must see TV. There is so much controversy surrounding these players and those involved in the decision making of all this, highlighted by the extraordinary measures like Barry Bonds breaking the all time home run record, or Roger Clemens winning back to back Cy Youngs and having some of the best pitch seasons we've ever seen. Video games completely changed their style of play to match this, choosing to juice up players as well. Hitting home runs were now the focus, and a quick arcade style of ridiculous gameplay went with it. These players even showed violence and collisions, we'll get to that shortly. But in this video we'll be looking at the use of steroids in baseball and how it changed video gaming forever, creating classics like Slugfest and The Bigs. And by the end, you'll be wondering why the hell they stopped making these games altogether. The history of these games started on June 24th, 2002 when MLB Slugfest 2003 came out, published by Midway Games. If you don't know Midway Games, you might recognize the names like NBA Jam, NFL Blitz, NHL Hits, and so many other legendary games. These games were known for their exaggerated, over-the-top gameplay, and if you look at the timing of this game specifically, the year before, Barry Bonds set the home run record and the home run ball was as big as ever. The game itself felt bigger than life. The game emphasized high velocity, hard contact, and acrobatic fueling that was anything but realistic. The Slugfest game's claim to fame was adding violence to baseball. Literally, you could punch the ball out of a fielder's arm and beat up a pitcher without getting tossed. Some may say that this is Amir Garrett's dream. The game was so violent, eventually they made Slugfest Loaded the first and only baseball game in history to receive a teen rating. And as ridiculous as this game sounds, it was as equally fun. This was a personal favorite of mine, as playing next to your friends and being able to beat them up in a baseball game, man, it was something magical. A couple cool facts about Slugfest. You could enter cheat codes right before the game started to change your appearance, like making your players ninjas or hitting with a wiffle ball bat. You could play at stadiums like Atlantis and the Forbidden City that featured the Great Wall of China. Players caught on fire. Literally, they caught on fire when they had back-to-back -back hits or got beaned and charged to the mound. And Slugfest was one of the first baseball games to play online, and I can't even imagine how toxic it was playing against some of these opponents. These games were awesome. There's been requests to remaster these games. People like myself would love that. And if you haven't played these games before, go into your grandma's closet and get your old PS2, wipe off the dust because these games still hold up through the test of time. And while you're at it, make sure to leave a like on the video. Slugfest 2006 was credited as the last game in the series to be developed by Midway Games, and ultimately they went bankrupt shortly after. Although steroids were never referenced in these games, it's hard not to see between the lines. In other games Midway made, like Blitz the League, you would see players openly taking steroids on the field when they got injured. This game was also very ridiculous, but I have no doubt in my mind that the use of steroids influenced Slugfest. There's one piece of lost history though that I discovered that I'd like to briefly go over because of how ridiculous it is. The producers of Slugfest apparently made a game called MLB Slam, an online mobile game that came out in 2006, but if you can imagine how archaic mobile gaming was in 2006, you won't be surprised that this game looked like absolute garbage, and this game looks about as similar to Slugfest as I do to Tom Cruise. But ultimately, the end of Slugfest left a hole. This style of gaming proved to be extremely successful, and let's be honest, steroid use was still widely used throughout the league. It wasn't until late 2007 that players finally got implicated for their steroid use. And what game would release right before all this went down and Jose Canseco became the biggest narc in baseball history? An instant classic, a 2K produced game called The Bigs. This was also focused on over the top gameplay and the players looked like they were all juicing. The game wasn't as violent on the surface as Slugfest, but make no mistake, there was plenty of contact and even some collisions at the plate and at second, back when it was okay to break someone's ankle. <coughs> Chase Utley. 
<laughs> the gameplay was different, but cut from the same cloth as Slugfest. You had the same sort of turbo boost that you'd use to power up your player. The fielding was absolutely ridiculous, and there was emphasis on the home run ball with no doubt home runs leaving holes in the stadium. Overall, it mimicked the same sort of arcade, fast-paced style that we were used to seeing in Slugfest. It really built on what Slugfest had laid down and had some new improvements to the game that made it feel more immersive in its gameplay. The thing that I really appreciate about this game is how groundbreaking the create a player mode they had, which was called Become a Legend. And after going back and playing it, I have to say that this might be the most in-depth road to the show type experience when it comes to the training, the mini games, the missions, everything. It was so different than how things are nowadays. In this game, you had actual challenges like running through cones and sliding throughout the field and there was a feeling challenge that was so fun and you had to die for the ball and it was it, oh my god it was so fun i wish i had something like this nowadays but thinking about it this whole mode was made by 2k and i absolutely love the my career mode in nba 2k so it makes sense why they made a mode like this but let me know what you guys think would you guys like to see something like this in mlb the show i would like it yesterday however the story stops after the big successor the Bigs 2. I couldn't really find any information regarding why the series of games was discontinued. I quite literally could not find out any developers of the game to reach out to. None of them had a Twitter. I don't know how to reach these guys. If you guys know anyone that made The Bigs 2, let me know. However, the publishers of the game, 2K, was actually not who created the game. It was a company called Blue Castle Games and they were bought out by Capcom Vancouver in 2010. And knowing Capcom, they are very interested in producing baseball games as their sole credit to a baseball game came back in 1989. I also found a post that explained that 2K would have had to have bought the bigs from Capcom as they inherited the IP from Blue Castle. They also claimed that one of the project managers had tried to pitch Bigs 3 to 2K, but ultimately did not approve the request. It also makes sense when you look at what happened to baseball around the time People were shifting their stance on steroids, players were getting suspensions, and the once approved diet of HDH and anabolic steroids were now looked at as a stain on the game of baseball. Baseball games like MLB The Show were also thriving at this point, and the need for these games weren't as strong as they used to. It really is a shame it ended like it did. For a short period of time, with baseball and these video games, the limits as to what was possible were broken time and time again. But that will be it for the video. If you haven't already, please leave a like on the video i spent a lot of time researching these topics and it would mean a lot and if you like this video make sure to check out this video i did on backyard baseball i think you guys would enjoy it as